Hi there and welcome back to Mass Effect Legendary Edition, episode 16 of the challenge which I place Commander Shepard who is not allowed to use weapons. I am planetside on Vermeer. We have come to investigate what happened with a Salarian infiltration team that uh, had reached out to the Citadel, informing them that there was uh, something going on in this world, potentially relating to uh, Saren. And we're going to be finding a bunch of Geth, which is why I am down here with uh, Tali and Liara. And it seems like our first encounter with the Geth is just going to be around the corner. The map is uh, fairly crowded with the red uh, triangles, or said dots. What really dots are they? Oops. I might have incidentally shot uh, the assault rifle in the water there for a little bit. We can throw uh, that drone and then they start fighting each other. Excellent. How do you miss? It wasn't even moving. There you go. Is there a different drone around here? Oh, there might be. Accept this guy, please. He's backing away. Hit him with overload for the shields and warp to uh, start doing health damage directly. Pretty much throw everything like that on as well. Now, not only he's hovering just beyond my melee range. This reminds me, I should probably spend a few points. Let's see, Liara has five of them. We're making her barrier a bit better. Not like it's gonna matter. Tally has ten points, nothing to spend them on. Shepard can spend one point to completely max out charm. And that's about it. The other seven are entirely useless. Drone flying even higher, so it's gonna be a bit annoying to, to get uh, rid of. Okay, overload, overload, damping. Okay, why don't you come down a little bit, a uh, little bit lower, buddy? Oh, there you go. Yeah, the Hana Geth on this planet that are uh, a bit of a pain to, uh, to take down. Level 54 now, so these uh, things have a ton of health. There you go. Have a little conversation about uh, who wants to attack what. Excellent. Oh, and the, uh, the drone is opening fire on the rocket trooper as well. Unfortunately, missing it. And I'm trying to shoot at the rock. That. I thought these things were supposed to be driven by AI or something. Guys. Where did that sabotage mine go? Doesn't seem like it, uh, it hit the drone at all. How do you guys miss at this range? Let's get inside. Oh, uh, back away a little bit. Okay, another wall. That one is down. This thing some, somehow survives being slammed into the rock at 60 miles an hour. They're taking so little physics damage. I actually made a point of uh, checking out what the gravity on this world was like, and it is lower than Earth's gravity, by, but only by a little bit. So they should be taking close to normal damage from uh, falls and, and so forth. And I don't believe the... Uh, the impact uh, with the Mako should be affected at all. Down. Poor Mako is getting absolutely annihilated. Oh, there you go. Take some damage finally. And he goes down. I think that I can completely missed.
Stop aloising around the rock. Nice rocket. Okay, uh, I have this guy. Come down. Wow. That is not how I thought that fight was gonna go. Alright, so I'll walk for you. Oh, the other one's right there as well. I was looking for you. There we go. Stop backing away, coward. <laughs> it's so annoying. These freaking things. Get back in the fight. Nah, he knows he's screwed. He knows he's screwed. So, uh... He's gonna leave me on a merry chase. On the island. Oh, okay. You got you got one rocket off. Rats! That one missed. Yeah, buddy. And done. So far, these are uh, pretty much the um, <clears throat> the cannon fodder troops. Nothing serious. But now we're starting to get to um, oh, great a number of them at least. And after a little bit, we're actually going to be um, putting some armatures and some actual heavy units. Okay, take control of this guy. Back inside the Mako. Oh, they're all shooting each other. Okay, I think he's dead. And for this thing, hold on. There's a different one shooting at me. So it occurs to me that uh, never mind. I probably don't need the medical as a skeleton anymore. Let's go back to uh, the damage protection. I cannot take control of this thing. Get in there. Okay. On the plus side, now that these things are all bunched up. And AI hacking should be uh, much more effective. Get on the side so they start shooting each other. Are they shooting each other? Oh, there we go. Finally. Okay, that one's dead. How did that one survive? I don't even know. Nice strafing, very nice. You're dead. All I have is AI hacking, that's no good. Go. Oh, the Mega's taking even health damage. Jeez. <laughs> Drop this guy. <coughs> Get hit by a missile, that's fine. And I hack this guy, and he charges me, because why wouldn't he? Firing as he goes! Man, the nerve of that guy. Oh yeah. And because uh, he fell to the ground as a result of, of the... Um, of the arrow's throw, with his back towards us, that was enough for him to drop line of sight and remember that he's supposed to be attacking his uh, former friends. Uh, okay, the Mako is kind of bugging out a little bit. Now, was that everybody? No, I'm just still on, online. Now, that's everybody. Nice ambush, guys. Very nice. Okay, hack one of these guys. Let's see. Actually, no, you're a weak unit, so no reason to waste that, even though I think Liara just did. Because there's no such thing as cancelling commands, apparently. That's fine. And throw for you. Doing laughable damage. Absolutely ridiculous. Alright, what's it going? Firing point blank range. They're almost down. Not quite. Okay, warp. 
overload everything. Where the heck is that tech mine going? There we go. Liara has uh, medical exoskeleton 10, so she should be back up to full uh, strength in no time. I finally got rid of the jamming for a little bit. Who was doing that? Is there a sniper here? Oh. Stop that. Nice, poor Geth Troopers. Finally down. Took a few whacks, didn't he? Come on. And throw for you. <clears throat> wow, he went flying. Quickly, that's guessing there was some uh, snipers or something in that room. I didn't really see anything. Okay, yeah, what do we have? Yeah, we do have a sniper. Guy is now fighting on our side. Oh, some clarity in there. Okay, okay, and now we start nuking him. And more. We have more abilities. Yeah, let's go ahead and use everything. And they basically stack the deck here with uh, snipers and stalkers and ghosts and everything. Go away. Okay, so nothing here but just a little bit of loot and then back to the Mako. And here is the, the first real challenge. I get Colossus that I'm going to uh, try and push out of bounds. Seems if I can just get him a little bit further that way, it should fall into the sea. Should be careful not to fall into the sea myself. Oops. There we go. <laughs> that was easy. That was the easiest Colossus fight I've, I've ever had. And here we have a uh, few get armatures. So uh, two here and two there. I could try and uh, AI hack one of them, and I'm gonna do that eventually. However, I would like, ideally, to uh, get them a little closer to each other. So when I hack one, it's, uh, it's three against one, and not just one versus one. So well, that might actually be the better scenario because they'd be more evenly matched. Hmm. Yeah, okay, let's try it this way. Yeah, otherwise, presumably, the, the last one I choose to AI hack is going to. Uh, I'm going to get instantly, well, it's going to be at full health because uh, it would have participated in the instant destruction of all the other ones before that. Now, then again, if there's two left at the end, how instant of the destruction are we really talking here? Yeah, never mind. I'll be honest, it seems like too much work to try and uh, put these things in the same place. And the air hacking already wore off, really? Well, then again, if they're going to close the distance for me, it's not that bad. Nice shooting, guys. Very nice. This may sound a little weird, but I wish they weren't that easy to uh, to knock down. Because when they fall, you can't really drag them any further. That's a little bit better. And with that, hop on side. And you can attack this one. Get out of my Yep, that worked. Turn around, to show sure it's his friends. And they're shooting at him. Excellent. Look how he's shimming along. Yeah, it wore off. Unfortunately. Oh! Never mind. He just got instantly destroyed. Time when uh, these things used to be scary, but not anymore. Not for a long time. So how is the cooldown of uh, the action doing? Ah, it's ready. There we go. 
out two versus one. Should be an easy fight for the ones I didn't hack. Excellent. And another level, that's level 55. Now, of these two, this one has lower health. They're basically about even matched. Uh, uh, for you. And hopefully they do a ton of damage to each other. There you go, use the, use the heavier killer, not just... Just the machine guns, those do barely any damage. I'm gonna uh, hack this one again. Uh, maybe help it a little bit. Let's see. Um, for you, and all of those. Even the odds, just a tiny bit. <laughs> Excellent. This one actually won. Oh, that was terrible driving on my part. It yeah, doesn't have that much health. So this was uh, this actually fun. Got overload, plus the warp, the melee attacks. Add insult to injury. Yeah, let's get out of here. And he's done. A thousand experience. These armatures, considering how easy they are to take down, that's uh. That is an astronomical amount. Here we have a uh, Get Colossus. And over there we have a... I'm not sure what the correct term is. Levy or something. It's trying to hold the uh, seawater back. So, of course... That's exactly where he's going. Yep, he's done. That's very easy. And we have another one. Whoops. Yep, I'm going to the sea myself. I'm, under, I'm taking a bit of sniper fire from uh, that barricade, but it's not too bad. Okay, what happened here? Oh, he got stuck. Oh, it might be easier to uh, push him into the sea from here anyway. So that's fine. Okay. Uh, almost got the job done. Almost. And... <laughs> there it goes. Excellent. Now, I don't believe that there are any other enemies here, but I'm just going to peek around this corner. Oh, no, never mind. Never mind. Another armature. Is this by himself? Oh, well, that that is not good. Let's see, uh, actually, no. Overload him. Yeah. And disable his ability to fire. Other abilities, start mailing them. Yeah, back away. There you go. Back away, buddy. And preparing to fire, so lift. Yeah, the cooldown of sabotage is such that uh, you can almost have 100% uptime. Almost, but not quite. But of course, the reason is that uh, Tally is still using a really, really crappy army tool. And, uh, I really uh, dislike the fact that you have to choose between the, the best heavy armor in the game and the best army tool in the game in the same uh, mission. However, uh, given that choice, I would prefer to have longer cooldowns than me still uh, going around with the, with the crappy armor that I was using previously. Fine, so lift again. Oh, he got that shot off. Jeez, even Tali is strong enough to survive uh, those now. And she's using light armor. Granted, she's using amazing light armor. I was fortunate enough uh, to, in one of the crates on uh, Novaria, to find Colossus stand for Tali. Well, she's got the, the, the best armor she can. Oh, uh, I also forgot to do sabotage. There we go. That's my bad, Tali. Sorry about that. And there you go. Back away, back away. He's inching closer to the, uh, to the Mako. I think he's trying to uh, make me do some tech damage to my own vehicle. It's not going to work because... Melee attack is going to destroy him. There we go. Yeah, and the Mako got hit by the uh, dampening, which is why my repairability is on cooldown. And this is where I was taking the sniper fire from. 
ultimately we're trying to uh, yeah, exactly well thank you that was uh, that summary was just in time okay, here we go uh, right there let's go ahead and add him guys okay, took a little bit of uh, six damage the result of being slammed against the wall by the Mako shock troopers I still have respect for you guys <laughs> he also wanted to charge me. Really? Okay. We must find a way to disable their artillery. Yeah, I know Liara. I'm on it. He is impatient much. Okay, I'll go ahead and loot that while I'm here. Oh my, that one doesn't even do anything. I just rocket really. Let's uh, pick these guys up. Yeah, that uh, rocket trooper dies off screen. But that won't be your fate, get shot trooper. No, no. Yeah, he's down as well. What do we have left? Some snipers, probably. Ghosts or something. Oh, okay. Go ahead and hack this guy. And get out on the side. They're gonna figure it out. <laughs> He's preparing to fire on his former friends. And instead gets nuked. Okay. These guys are duking it out. Good job, fellas. Warp is going to pull down. That is unfortunate. There we go. And dumping. Cut both down. That was uh, that was very easy. So we just disabled the. the grid is down, yeah. Commander. On approach to the Solarian base now. Out. Great. Ready to move on your work, Shepard. Oh, okay, look. You have. Oh, there is a nice shot of the Normandy. We do have one more gatehouse that we need to get through. So we together are making a sort of a final stand here. Okay, uh, I have that guy. And I'm gonna take care of this one. Actually, I want to just throw that back there. And now they're bunched up. So just a regular get through for probably. Okay, some goes down as well. Up the stairs, and what do we have here? Doesn't really matter. Uh, shock troopers, rocket troopers. At this point, it's uh, the only the only uh, noticeable difference in terms of their damage output and danger level and so forth. Uh, actually, there isn't one. Uh, the, the only real difference is um, how much experience they award. It's it's about the same amount of work to take them down. Even though the shock trooper is supposed to be tankier. Uh, Liara and Tali do so much damage from their abilities now that it's not <laughs> it's not really noticeable. And unfortunately my melee attack is so weak that it takes about the same amount of uh, melee attacks. Uh, once of course they've been softened up sufficiently. So it's not like I am uh, you know, two-shotting some of the guests the way I was early in the game. But even one-shotting some of these guys at a low enough level. Now it's all about whether I actually aim, uh, manage to aim it correctly and, uh, and, and get a headshot. Okay, uh, you know, throw this guy back. Yep, and then go ahead and hack him and let's get out of there. So, go and attack his former friends. Excellent. Now, let's try and help him out a little bit. And by help him out, I mean, uh, them down, beat them mercilessly. Still up, huh? Tough bastard. Gets destroyed, getting destroyed. And the controls, excellent. That was the final gate. Our path to the Solarian camp should be clear from here. Excellent. And after Time to get some attention. 
Ah, nice sniper shot there. Where exactly is that coming from? Uh, let's throw some glare right there. So we made contact with the Salarian team. Found out that uh, Serum. Oh, okay. Um, we found out that uh, Serum was developing a cure for the Genophage, so that he'll have an army of Krogan at his uh, disposal. And that will likely prove too much for the uh, council forces. So we are here to make sure that the cure does not leave this world. Of course, a ton of geth between us and our objective, which is the center of the facility where we are going to be uh, planting a nuke. The arrow is already down. Uh, okay. I probably should have charged that sniper. Ah, well, I'll take it back up. Okay. Two snipers hiding the pansies. Uh, sure. Go ahead, let's see what your assassination actually does to me. I'll give you a hint, it's not gonna do anything. Okay, buddy. Knock this guy down. No, take your shot. <laughs> Random explosion there. I guess there was a plasma container or something. Dolly's still holding her own. Good job, Dolly. Generate shields. There's an absolutely monstrous amount of shields. Okay, he melees me. <laughs> I melee him a second time. He's on the ground. Yeah. This guy's down. Dolly, do you mind? There we go. Okay, might as well get the R up. Stay down. Oh, Geth Destroyer, I feel sorry for you. This is, this is just embarrassing. Okay, the arrow is up. And as you probably heard in the transmissions, if I can find a way to disrupt whatever the Geth are doing, I'm going to be rewarded with a little bit of Paragon and I improve my uh, Salarian friend's chances of getting through this mission in one piece. So, a little bit of a ru running for the uh, next objective. Okay, here we go. Oh, uh, just a guest trooper, really? I don't know what's behind them in this. <laughs> Super shoot. Yeah, uh, I, can't, I can't say blame. Problem is, uh, your shoot does not quite cover the, the whole opening of this area. Okay, so drone. Yeah, zap him. And a little more. They're calling sat strikes. Jayetto, watch for comm stations. William, can you see anything? I might be able to see anything. Or something, rather. You know, a moment here. And this thing knows what's up. It just keeps staying out of melee range. It's a little annoying, but uh, I can't fault it for, for not wanting to get destroyed by my elbow. Is the next one so let's see. and hacking get out of line of sight and now they're shooting at each other excellent what would happen with Tommy and Yara they'll bust someone I see. They came from a different side, and Liara discovered and pissed off a rocket drone and got herself uh, blown up. I still focus on me. Come on. Really? Okay. Sure, let's pretend that that rocket actually did anything. And yeah, now you're gonna be backpacking away, right? Let him fight. I think the uh, shock trooper destroyed the drone. Oh, we have a Krogan there as well. Let's get the arm back up. Thank 
think uh, this guy will make a decent distraction for the Krogan. Excellent. He's doing damage. Excellent. Yeah, two more explosions. Yeah. Fortunately, the death goes down. Crossing there right up there. Keep the problem from regenerating health. Unfortunately, I don't think I have enough cooldowns to uh, take him down. Never mind. Um, I'm sticking to the wall. Satellite uplink. This is the thing we need to destroy. Yeah. So a little more Paragon because we are uh, helping the uh, Severian teams. I don't know what's going on over here. I guess the debris from the, uh, the antenna is causing me problems. Now here we have a uh, slightly more difficult fight against two Krogan. Of course, um, I have Tommy on the team and she's not all that great against fighting these guys in particular. But let's do a bunch of damage with an explosion. Excellent. Honestly, I didn't do that much. <laughs> I, was hoping, I was hoping for a little more damage. Let's uh, throw this guy somewhere. And then lift this one up. Yeah, that, that health regen is just wicked. Don't have any cooldowns. Nothing at all. Oh, and he's starting to drop. Because he's already up there. What is the other Krogan? Is, uh, I was gonna say, pretty much out of the fight, and then he uh, showed up out of nowhere. Right on time. Okay. Fall damage does a little bit, but not as much as uh, you might hope. This guy, Yara. There we go. Yeah, this one should be pretty much done. Yeah, he is. And similarities of cooldown, so I'll lift this guy. Excellent. Sabotage, start cycling the attack abilities again. While ultimately waiting for a uh, warp on the other thing that's gonna kill him. Yara. Stop hiding behind random boxes for no reason. He's not shooting at you. Nobody shot. Him. And you missed the lift, didn't you? That's wonderful. Wait, were well, you feeling bad for him? Decided to give him a fighting chance? Natali is hiding. What are you guys doing? Stop alternating who is in cover. Don't be in cover. Fortunately, I see that is pretty cool for him on the Yara can't it up. Yeah. Good job, Dali. Good job. I'm, I'm, I'm so glad there's these freaking boxes everywhere. Just to um, trick your your, uh, comp uh, your companions into um, getting in defensive positions that are totally uncalled for. And, um, you know, aggravate you with their refusal to follow simple commands. Yeah. Grab all this junk, even though I'm at max uh, funds as well as... Okay, let's uh, go ahead and get this guy. Excellent. He goes on a rampage. He it. Yeah, he just killed something. Oh, was that it? It's just one thing over there for you to find? Um, okay, well. I was kind of hoping he might advance a little further. But I guess he only attacks uh, when there's something in line of sight. Now they were mentioning aircraft, so uh, a bunch of guest flyers that are here to refuel. Of course, we're going to be uh, taking them on. So drone. Oh, okay, this is this is the one we want right there. And now they're going to destroy it for us. Yeah, it pretty much stands no chance. Okay, the fuel vision explodes. Pretty sure all these guys just got hit by a uh, sabotage. It's just a matter of finishing them off. So three of them left. I'm going to have this guy. 
<laughs> nice. And as soon as that sabotage wore off. Oh, wow, he, uh, he took both of them out. Excellent. I hit him with another sabotage. Between the overload and the warp, he's, he's done. He just doesn't know it yet. Throw another overload up there. There we go. So, eight Paragon. Uh, since this was a bit tougher than the uh, previous two, which just involved uh, using a computer and then uh, destroying a defenseless uh, antenna. I guess uh, there was a Geth that was guarding this place, however he got killed by the destroyer, so now we're pretty much free to, uh, to walk in. Oh, you definitely are getting some help from Shadow. And okay, now the Krogan is going to be uh, yeah, <laughs> annihilating the sniper for me. Excellent. Yeah, there's two Krogan there and two snipers. So uh, they, they, have, uh, they have a decent uh, defensive line, however. They're not counting on things like um, eh, hacking. And eh, hack this guy, get out of the sight. Oh. Is he still gonna stay focused on me? That's fine then. I'll take him out. Eh, hacking might have missed. Okay, throw for this guy. Are you done? And where's the Corbin? There we go. Lift him up. Uh, the other one uh, fell down, so I'm pretty sure he's uh, not going to be getting back up here because he's too stupid to figure out how to do that. So instead, I'm going to be dealing with this guy first. Yeah, he's barely up there. Oh, he's there, hacking. Come on, Yara, Dali, get up here. Get up here and shoot this guy. Ah, uh, no, lift him. One more lift, overload. Probably could push him out of bounds with throw, but the problem is that yeah, until uh, Liara actually shows up and I can see her, I have no, no way of knowing which direction the throw is gonna come from. And more likely than not, if she's far away, she's gonna push him slightly this way rather than up. Okay, and the other Krogan warrior, as predicted, yeah, he's too stupid to get off that rock and walk over here and up the little ramp. Oh well, what are you gonna do? Tell you what, singularity, then overload. And now he has the, the damage debuff, just start hitting him with everything else. Okay, warp the arrow. Stop being in stupid cover for no reason. They love the cover, except when they really need to use it. At that point, forget about it. They're not getting in cover, regardless of what instructions might be giving them. Way to miss with that uh, with that lift there, Liara. Just terrible. Okay, singularity. Even you can't mess that up. What the just happened? What, the singularity wasn't strong enough to actually lift them? Are you kidding me? Okay, I'm gonna have to go down there myself. Fine. There you go, Liara. How about now? Can you can you lift them? Get out of cover. Running out loud. Throw. There you go, I might actually do something. Chase. He's still showing up as being alive, but uh, we got the experience for him, so he was out of bounds for sure. Okay, I need to loot that, and after that I'm going to be getting inside the base, but not through here. I'm going to go through the basement. Okay, here we go. We're inside the, uh, the base, and now we are fighting some indoctrinated Salarians. Captain Kira uh, mentioned that he lost about half his team while uh, doing recon. Looks like they're holding hands as they fly up into the ceiling. Friends to the last. Fall, fall down right into a melee attack, yeah. He, he didn't... Yes. Well, uh, nothing good. We've got access. It'll clear the guards out for us. But they might be too much for the Solarian teams to handle. 
Just disable the alarm. No. And because we didn't send additional guards, he yells at the base where the Salarian teams are already having enough trouble. We are awarded with a few Paragon points. And here is some uh, more crappy gear to loot. There's so many weapons. Oh. Uh, biotic amp. I was really hoping for an Omni tool. Couple of these guys. I'm not sure why they're wasting the bullets. Okay. These two are down. Now there is an opportunity to earn quite a, a bit of uh, Paragon and even some Renegade in the base, uh, such as here. You can talk to this guy. What do you want? Who are you? Alliance, right? I... That's not too much to ask, is it? Something's not right here, Shepard. I need to get out. <laughs> Simple! Obviously, uh, this guy uh, has been indoctrinated. However, if you let him out, you get a ton of uh, Paragon and also a bit of experience because uh, you open all of the doors, not just his door and then you get to uh, destroy these guys okay all the mode warp learn commando yeah he, he, he's done so, uh, i guess that was a headshot with the elbow where's the uh oh did one of these guys go through the wall is that what happened come on why does this keep happening He's out of bounds, clearly. Just give me the experience. Call it a day. It's not gonna do that though. Oh well. Alright, we have these two. Oh, see that is still on cooldown, so put on instead. <laughs> yeah, backpedal. Backpedal all you want. Pretty much just uh, work yourself into a corner. Congrats. Out of bounds as well, but managed to elbow him to, the, to death first. I'm gonna be back here to uh, talk to some uh, huh? some of these guys down there. Is someone out there? Yes. But first, uh, if you come through the front, you end up in uh, this section of the base right here. And uh, there is a juggernaut, so I uh, hack that and then get back in here. And pretty much there's a juggernaut to take care of all his friends. Uh, he's just destroying. I've got it. Get back in there. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Wow. They killed the juggernaut. They actually managed to take down the juggernaut. Rats. Not before he uh, took down like three or four. I forget. I think. I uh, see Larry. He's down, and uh, we have here. Oh, we have a destroyer. So, a uh, hack for you. Get out of line of sight. And just as the singularity ends, these guys are going to be having all kinds of other problems. <laughs> Look how he just tossed this guy. Yep. Kills him, charges the next. Oh, I love air hacking. Such an awesome ability. Nice carnage. Nice carnage. Yeah, the uh, guest destroyer just does not care. Yeah, now, throw him back, overload, and another overload, sabotage for you, get the destroyer, let's see, damping, and warp, and as he charges me, lift him, oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, he was screwed, okay, uh, a little bit of looting to do in this room, and then on our way. And we're about to encounter the toughest husks in all of Mass Effect 1. These guys here are no joke. For whatever reason, unlike all the other husks, they're extremely difficult to knock down. And as a result, my recommendation would be uh, to um, move your team to the side of the elevator. And if you're gonna be tanking these guys, make sure you have a ton of uh, tech resistance because the chances are it's gonna be difficult to knock them down. Now with weapons and so forth, here we have a uh, wet wear kit here that just gave us a bunch of garbage. Now, yeah, and let's do that. Yeah, now 
like I was saying, very, very difficult to, uh, to knock down. Now, the scientist. Let's make her a priority. Is she... What, is going on here? what just happened? Where are the guards? She like one Very ability. Soon. She's done. You know, we're dampening. Was there something explosive there? No. Stay back. This is important work. This is the glorious salvation of my species. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, we're gonna try and uh, nuke me from all the way over there. Here we go. Uh, oh, unfortunately, uh, both Liara and Tali just got hit by dampening somehow. He saw them, even though they're hidden behind a wall. So that is uh, that is unfortunate. I'm gonna be uh, contending with him and the husks. And you know what? Screw you, buddy. Let's just uh, swap back to my my actual armor. Where is it? Uh, that's the medium armor. There we go. And I do need the energized plate. Oh, I got the energized plate in 10. Yeah. Now, Singularity is almost off cooldown. And while this guy's trying to kill me desperately, let's go ahead and put everybody on the ceiling or in the elevator. Oh, oh, I see what happened. Just the, uh, the kill ceiling in this room is really low for whatever reason. So as soon as these guys got sucked up there, that's what, uh, that's what dropped the scientist. I had no idea. So, uh, here we're fighting one of the only uh, two Krogan uh, doctors that I've ever seen. Kind of feel bad for this guy. He's a tool for Saren, doesn't even realize it. Or maybe he does, maybe that's a real tragedy and just doesn't have any other options. And he's done. Okay, we have some uh, guests to fight outside. Let's see, is there anything interesting in this room? whatsoever oh and here we go on a couple of get troopers like that's gonna stop us so they're up there wow that pretty much did nothing did they were both out of range somehow uh lift them up yep, he's done and yet why am i not receiving the experience does he need to fall into the pit before? Excellent. Okay. Okay, uh, let's get out of here. We did what we uh, we came to do. Got a bunch of information. Actually, well, we haven't planned the news yet. Um, okay, there we are. Throw. Indeed. Okay, it goes down. And then, of course, we're going to have some more company right here. And a couple of Krogan. Are you guys going to charge or not so much? Okay, nothing down. That. Go ahead and drop a similarity right there. Let's take care of that guy at least. That's all. So that one goes down. This one goes down. And is there one more? Yeah, there is. Okay, he's charging me as well. Let's him up and get out of his way. His, his momentum going to be enough to kill him. Maybe. Oh yeah, he's out of bounds for sure. <laughs> he's done. <laughs> so so easy. So easy dealing with these Krogan. It's ridiculous. Okay, we have uh, yet another Krogan. Um, just got hit by a sniper shot of all things. That's fine. How about take control of this guy? And let him fight. No. That tech mine did not do at all what it was supposed to. That had Krogan killed the uh, the guest for me. Excellent. Actually, lift them up. Oh, excellent! He was charging exactly where he uh, he wanted to be. And throw, and he's done. 
Alrighty, now, uh, ghost. You know what? Take this guy down with the singularity first. I don't want him jumping around too much. And let's go ahead and hack that thing. Couple of tech abilities. Uh, should be about it for him. Okay, one of the drones is down. Probably the one I, I hacked. Or maybe not. Or maybe it did that much damage? Oh. Oh, it just made it. Yeah, one of them is full health. Excellent. And now for the other one, definitely one warp. Overload. And no kaboot. Oh, this thing is uh, slowly ticking to dead. Colossus then. Light armor for the Turian. That is useless. They're always going to wear medium armor. I don't want to give them light armor. They're throwing up at the sun, do anything. Actually, who knows? It might. Huh. I, I guess biotic abilities, uh, even though they seem to have no effect, do a little bit of damage. So if it has just a sliver of health, then uh, it's sufficient. And uh, hack this guy. Starts attacking his friend. Shoots him right in the back. Excellent. Excellent. Oh, and the elevator shows up. And singularity, you know what? Let's, uh, that's fine. Yeah, you guys are not getting up. Sorry to break it there. We have one get outside the... Uh, oh, the, the rocket troopers revived. Good work on the gun, Shadow Team. Now it's our turn. Oh, thanks. Oh, he's dead. Okay. Well, let's, uh, let's get out of here. Okay, uh, guest stalker. So, let's hack him. Yeah, are done. Get in uh, cover, please. And throw this guy. <laughs> Got stuck in the bridge. Shoot him! Okay. And singularity. Is that really gonna do anything? I guess not. That's all the get could spare, just two of these guys. Kind of insulting. Charge is set. Everyone bunker down. Bunker down. Is there any more enemies to fight here? I don't think so. I think we reached the rendezvous. We're the first ones to get here. Joker slacking. And the Normandy has just uh, left the nuke there. However, I received communication from the Solarian team that they are pinned down on the AI tower, so I need to go and help them. Now, this fight here is kind of nasty because you're not allowed to, uh, to have Caden for it. And two biotics would make this trivial, of course. However, if you only have one, and you're not a biotic yourself, then you kind of SOL a little bit. However, what makes this a lot uh, easier is and just stay outside. You don't have to go in. You don't have to be uh, dancing in that room with three Krogan. You can just stay outside and uh, take them down one at a time. Take care of the Geth first by AI hacking them and forcing the Krogan to kill them. Hide behind the wall. You evade the carnage. It doesn't really matter. Now, uh, where is... Here we go. Get Ghost. So I have that thing. Yeah, and now just hide. And let the Krogan deal with it. Got it. Sorry. You, you were fine there. Yeah, they just got it. Okay, so they take, took down uh, both the uh, the ghost and um, Okay, and lift this guy. Come to church. Yeah, he's screwed now. I'm not sure why nobody else is helping me. And there's a Alliance Marine right there. And a Krogan warlock, but he's like, nah, I don't want any of that. And yeah, now his friends uh, pretty much are not going to be uh, helping him. Oh, oh, there we go. Is still going to close? Guess not. That's fine. Hit him a few times just to add insult to injury. He doesn't really know what the heck is going on. And it's still up. And let's see what else. We have dampening. Okay, overload. 
go. And warp. Heck, <laughs> drop the ground, doesn't take much damage, mind you. It wants to charge me or something, I'm not really sure. However, Singularity is pretty much the, uh, I think it's the, the last nail in the coffin. Yeah, he dies in the air. And that was the strongest of the three Krogan. Now get uh, Talon the arrow back in position. Uh, open the door again. And we have two Krogan. One of you wants to charge? Wow, these guys just don't learn. Flip. Oh, <laughs> he tripped and fell. <laughs> and that's safe. <laughs> what, what a lucky SOB. Kudos, man. Kudos. If you hadn't tripped, you'd be, uh, you'd be out here with me and you'd pretty much be screwed. Okay, a couple of tech explosions. Let's go ahead and throw them. Yeah. And sabotage. Should be good. Oh, he, uh, he activated immunity. Like, that's gonna do anything. He's turned back into a corner. He's already in a corner. That's fine. Let's uh, do another singularity. Right there. And let's see. Overload. Yeah, I can tell that Tali and Liara are in cover because um, their abilities take a second after I hour them to do it. And lift them up. And sabotage them. Come on, Tali. And with the warp, he's down. Now this guy has been shooting me the whole time and he did absolutely nothing. Larry right there. And we got poor man's uh poor man's lift right there. <laughs> Overloaded and warp. Oh guys, just, just come in here. That's fine. It's just this guy left. There's no real danger for you anymore. He's not uh not gonna be doing anything. Why don't you say that as he completely ignores the lift? Ah, oh, there we go. The game remembered that I actually lifted him. Oh, he, he's dead. Oh, okay. Liara, of course, is in cover. That only she believes is, is really cover. And I take the elevator. And here we go. And of course, the Geth finally figured out what was going on. Yeah. Williams. Yes, Commander, I... It's the right choice, and you know... I understand. Yeah. And this is where Caden basically makes his uh, heroic final stand. Are you here? Oh. A bit of looting to do. And on to the final fight. Now, I always thought that it made more sense to have a final confrontation here. Because this is, of course, where Captain Kirahi's team is, pan is pinned down. And in this particular case, Ashley is with them. But in my mind, it made sense for the person guarding the bomb to be the one that you leave uh, to die on Vermeer. Um, and um, because we want to try to, uh, to and save Captain Kira here. I mean, he, uh, he can show up in, in Mass Effect 3. He's total badass. So uh, if you're going to be saving him, might as well send the squad member that you want to actually have live with him. So you can come up here, rescue them while the other person holds up the Geth, make sure the bomb goes off, and then get on the Normandy and get out of here. Uh, let's go ahead and aim this guy. And while he's destroying his friends, yeah, Talin Liara, taking pot shots at the Geth, not like it's really necessary. Wow, that dude is just. We just fast, Relax, I am here. Are you, are you not seeing the assistance you're receiving? Oh, okay, now they're Watch pouting. The now they're pouting because they thought I'm staying in cover. So they refuse to do abilities for a while. That's fine. And they are thrown, please. Yeah, I'd rather not have to deal with them. This guy is just almost dead. He is dead, he just doesn't know it. Master was freaking out for like no reason. How? There you go. Well, the guys are dead. I think there's one guy alive, but... Uh, yeah, there's right there. It's just, it's just this one right here. move faster. Get out of here with that Ashley. Not only am I here saving you, but you're also ungrateful. Okay, and I'm gonna have a little boss fight. I mind you calling it a boss fight, it's actually an exaggeration. That's the one doesn't really have a boss fight beyond the, beyond the one back in August now. 
on Theron, uh, I think the one is called, where you uh, pick up the other. That Krogan battle map is a boss fight. This has been an impressive battle. Of course, it was all for nothing. I this is huge. Trillions dead. Once I understood this. So, but as tools, the conduit is the. I yeah. So I've said a few things to him. He's not really impressed. Don't hesitate on the shield. So just just get on with warp and stay back. It's gonna be something to get, which is fine. I think they're gonna be a problem. Uh, can't see anything. That is a real issue. Yeah, we have a gift. It's just gift trooper. I think it is. Yeah. Now they're all shooting me, but uh, oh no, never mind. There is a um, yeah. I want that guy. Get destroyer. There we go. Okay. So take control of him. Hide back here. And while he is destroying the uh, get troopers, or getting destroyed by the get troopers, <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Get a singularity. Liara, could you have been a little bit later with that singularity? Jeez. Where is sir? And now they're just refusing to use ability. Come on. So annoying. Because of course if they stand where I am, they're gonna get slaughtered. I mean even with all my damage resistance, I'm actually taking a little bit of a little bit of damage. But now that they're there, I have to constantly keep telling them, hey, go stand in the middle of the elevator, not in cover, because otherwise, guess what? I'm not gonna be doing anything. Oh, the shield is gone already. Well whatever. The sniper. The other of course did not Really, Liara? Crying out loud with this cover BS. How about going and stand inside the elevator? There you go. Hopefully that doesn't count as cover. No. Is there any shooting random stuff at me? Whatever. Just want to get all the experience. I want to mop up the get. I don't want to be doing too much damage to Saren. Oh. Around to shoot at uh, Tommy in the yard, that's not good. I guess we have a sniper who's still alive because I can't really see the battlefield. Okay, okay, let's uh, go to the right down and see what uh, shows up. Uh, warp, another overload. Want all the get experience. Okay, definitely saw the sniper is on the other side. I need more than one, who knows? Oh, there it is. Wasted the assassination of snow, got hit by a rocket or something, even if Saren fired it. Doesn't matter. Hey, buddy. Down. Saren is up. Uh, is there anybody else who's up? No, doesn't look like it. Oh. Yep. He was very, very close to denying me the, uh, the get experience. Yeah. Well, when he does this move and you're fighting him by the bomb, it looks stupid because there is no ledge there. He's just holding you a foot of, above the water for whatever reason. But here there's an actual ledge. Yeah, I think this is the intended way this sequence is laid out. You leave the person you want to uh, sacrifice by the bomb, and then you come up here and save Captain Kirahi, his men, and, uh, and your other squad member. And then you leave with the Normandy. And with that, the mission to Vermeer is done. Unfortunately, Captain, or no, he's not a captain, he is Lieutenant. Lieutenant Kate Malenko is forever going to stay on Vermeer. But uh, his heroic sacrifice gave us the, uh, the chance to do what we came to do and get out in one piece. Well, the rest of the squad got out. Not exactly in one piece. So, uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching. And uh, if you enjoyed this episode, consider tuning in for the next. All right, everybody, hang on.